Hello everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Today on the kitchen table, uh, a quick one, bit of breaking news uh, from uh, America, uh, hence the um, hence the tribute there. Uh, it's a bit of Jack Daniels on the kitchen table uh, this evening, as it is an evening for a change, so um, <clears throat> cheers. Uh, yes, so, um, a bit of news today, the FAA has uh, issued a um, uh, issued a press release and a statement and everything else uh, outlining the um, I believe what is going to be the world's first compulsory uh, drone uh, UAS registration system. Uh, basically, uh, what's going to happen now? I'm, you'll have to forgive me. I'm I'm not as familiar with your legal system in the states as. Uh, well, probably about as familiar with yours as you are with mine, to be fair. Uh, and also the actual full on document is 211 pages. Um, so, you know, bear with me if I've got any of the, in any of the details that it's wrong. And perhaps you can correct me in the comments. But the way I read it is from now on, uh, it will be compulsory. If you have a, a remotely controlled aircraft and they are now calling them all aircraft, uh, if it weighs more than 250 grams and can fly by remote control, it's an aircraft. Um, and it is compulsory for you to be registered as the owner of such aircraft. And it is also compulsory for you to write that registration number down on any aircraft that you own that you're going to fly outdoors in the national airspace. Um, now, you're going to have to register. You can do it online. It's going to cost you $5. That registration is valid for three years. And then you pay again, I assume, to do it. Um, if you are purely good doing it for hobby purposes and you have, say, a fleet of more than one, um, uh, well, under 250 grams, you probably do, even if it's a toy one, then you can register as an individual. You have to be over 13 years of age, pay $5, you're registered as an individual, and you must write down your individual registration number on any of your aircraft. If you have an existing aircraft that was bought or flown, I should say, before, I think, the 21st of December, you have three months grace in which to get it registered. Any aircraft that is first bought after the 21st of December must be registered before it is first flown. Now, um, I had a look through and uh, there's, there is something buried deep in which I'm not sure if it's correct or not, but if it is, boy, it's a stiff penalty if you don't do it. The penalties for not complying with this are a uh, civil penalty of a fine of up to $27,000 or indeed a criminal penalty of a fine of a quarter of a million dollars and up to three years jail time. Um, so uh, yeah, I'd probably register if I were you. Um, now, like I say, I haven't looked at the internet. I've seen some argument already online about, hang, hang on, who are the FAA here to, to where, where is their jurisdiction to register individuals? They're there to register aircraft and they have now decreed that anything remote control that is above 250 grams is an aircraft. You therefore are now an aviator, and therefore you must uh, you must fully comply with uh, and, and be uh, part of the whole system of promoting uh, air safety, uh, which includes a compulsory registration. Uh, some people have pointed out that they are registering individuals, and that's maybe nothing the FAA can do. They're supposed to register aircraft. Um, there'll be lots of shenanigans from this. I think it's probably the way that everyone else is going to go. We're all going to be watching you guys uh, to see how this goes. Uh, like anything else, there will be those of you who will say, I'm damned if I'm going to do it. Uh, and therefore, for this to have any kind of success, they're going to have to enforce it. It's, it's easy to set up a registration system, relatively speaking. It's much harder to actually enforce it. Uh, how are they going to do it? Um, you know, if you're flying in your favorite flying spot, are the police, the local police going to come up, uh, require you to land and examine your aircraft to see if it's got a, a, a registration? Um, it's going to be accessible publicly, so if you type in the serial number of an aircraft you found, it will show you a name and address. Uh, this will obviously, hopefully, discourage people who are co to being complete idiots, um, because, you know, they will be traced. But only if they've registered. Uh, I don't understand how it's going to really help with unregistered aircraft, uh, and how you're going to sort of, uh, how they're going to enforce it to a certain extent. Will it be just be that the, you know, the law-abiding majority will do it, um, and therefore, you know, those who get involved in accidental issues and, you know, uh, equipment failures will probably have registered, so it'll be fine. Uh, it's the people who are deliberately going out to cause mischief or break the law who won't register their $200 SEMA drone, which weighs more than 250 grams, and go and 
you know, do something bad with it. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. But there we are. That's the news for today. Um, uh, compulsory registration in the US uh, for all new aircraft from uh, middle of, uh, towards the end of December. And for existing aircraft, you have a three month uh, sort of amnesty grace period in which to get registered. I would love to know what you all think about this um, and, and how it's going to work. So please uh, pop some, uh, some comments down below and let's uh, you know, educate me as to how this is going down with the drone flyers in, in the States. On one side, I kind of see where they're coming from. I kind of quite like the idea. It, it makes us all kind of feel a bit more responsible for what we're doing. Maybe we'll start doing pre-flight checks if we don't. Maybe we will stop flying into areas of potential risk. Or maybe it won't make a damn bit of difference and they'll just collect a lot of $5 from the people who would have done it anyway and nothing else will change. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear more. Um, that was it. Just a quick one as promised because this news is just broken and I need to get some stuff done. So until next time, many thanks indeed for watching. I'll see you again soon back on the kitchen table. Until then, cheers.